friends, Min here from Honest Stampage. I'm super excited today. Thank you so much to everybody who entered the giveaway for this stamp set. I asked you to comment on something kind that somebody had done for you recently. And I got back so many nice things and it made me really happy. And so I thought, you know what? I want to do this every single month. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start a kindness challenge where I want to hear good things because I feel like right now in our world, it's a lot of negative. So each month I'm gonna stamp a little kindness card or thinking of you card and give you a little bit of inspiration, but also I'm gonna give you three weeks to comment something that somebody has done that was kind to you. And then I'm gonna randomly choose a person each month to send a little kindness package to. It might have scraps of paper, it might have washi tape, it might have ribbon, it might have stamps. I mean, it could have anything. It might be used stuff, so you have to understand that going into it, that this is gonna be me sharing my crafting area with you in a way. So if that sounds like something you'd like to do, comment down below on something that somebody has done for you that has shown kindness and you will be entered into the drawing. I'm gonna give you three weeks. And congratulations to our winner of the stamp set from the last time. That announcement will be at the end of this video, okay? So congratulations to that person. Today I wanted to play a little bit more with some more um, close to my heart items that I got recently. I really love this sentiment in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And so I'm gonna start by stamping that in black and then I've got a rainbow of different colors and I thought I might pull in some of these stamps because I'm really liking the leaves and stuff. And we might not go with rainbow colors, I might end up grabbing out some other colors, but I thought I'm gonna do some sort of summery card since it's summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my white panel that I'm gonna use. This is five by three and three fourths so that it can layer onto an A2 card. And I'm gonna start by stamping my sentiment in licorice. I'm gonna be using Stephanie Bernard's Stamps of Life inks because they are one of my favorites. So I'm gonna start by stamping the sentiment in this licorice black. Love it, that is so cute. I love the font of this stamp. I think it's just super fun. Um, and so I'm really excited to play around with different colors and things like that. I'm really kind of feeling this turquoise and this green. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use other colors, but I'm really feeling these two colors. I wanna go in with some of these leaves, especially like this one and this one, maybe this one, but I'm really liking these leaves. So let's grab those out. And I think we're gonna stamp this in the green. And now I'm gonna go in with some sea glass. I'm thinking I need to pull in some more color. So I think I'm gonna go in with this little leaf right here and I think I'm gonna do this leaf orange honestly so I'm gonna go in with some tangerine I like that and I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same stamp but in the yellow which is banana so kindness let's talk a little bit about kindness I think it's interesting how sometimes people mean to be kind and they just kind of fail. And so I think that part of kindness is us being willing to accept what that person has. You know what I mean? Like maybe they're trying their hardest and if they get it wrong, it's because they're nervous or something. I used to think that, you know, if people wanted to be kind to me, they would get to know me and they would want to do X, Y, and Z and... But I, as I get older, ooh, I like that. As I get older, I'm realizing that part of kindness is us accepting it in a gracious way. Anyway, so just my thought about 
kindness and how in order for it to really be valuable to us, we have to be willing to accept it. So I'm gonna go in with this little flower. because I don't know if I want to color him in or if I want to stamp him on colored paper with a colored ink. I've got this grape, but I think that might be a little bit too dark. That's a little bit lighter, but I think that's too light. I'm actually thinking this is the color I'm gonna use. And as you can see, it's a scrap I've been punching out of, punching out things. And I think that the purple that I got out is not going to be dark enough so let me get out the purple that I think will work <clears throat> this one grape oh my gosh look how beautiful that image is okay so I'm gonna go die cut this and I will be back in just a second all right, friends, so my device was too full and it ended up not showing the rest of what I did with the card, so I wanted to give you a little play-by-play. -play. So I die cut out the parrot and I added some more pink flowers to the card because I felt like it needed a little more pink. And then what I did is I just added some stickles into the centers of the flowers and I highlighted the parrot with them. And I love the sparkle and shine. It's not quite dry yet, so it's still looking wet. But once this dries, it's going to be so amazing. I hope you like the way this turned out and the way that I did this collage stamping of the panel. If you would like to get this card plus a little goodie bag of different crafty items, comment down below with something kind that somebody has done for you recently and I will be back in three weeks to share the winner of that so until then my friends hugs and happy stamping bye